In this session, we talk about the proportional controller. We have seen that for the on-off control, the output does not stay at the set point, rather it oscillates around the set point value. Now, then how to really manipulate the input signal? Uh, just think about a scenario where you're merging from a road to a highway and the speed limit goes to say 50 to 100 kilometer per hour. Now, another scenario may be if you're thinking about changing the speed from 50 to 60 kilometer per hour. Now, would you change the fuel flow in the same way for both cases? Definitely that will not be the case. And you'll have to change the fuel flow according to the difference between the desired value and the current value. So when the output is further away from the set point, definitely more control action will be required. So this is the basis for the idea about this, what is called this proportional control. Now, we know that the difference between the desired value and the current value is denoted by what is called this error signal. So the error signal is defined as is ET equals RT minus YT, where RT is the reference signal or what is called this set point and what is the current value of the output. So the larger the output, the larger should be the control action. So this is the idea about this, what is called this proportional control. So for proportional control, we have this control action or U prime T is proportional to the error signal. Now if you take a proportional constant, something like KC, so U prime T is KC ET. So depending on KC, the larger the error, the larger the control action. Now we note that this control action is expressed in terms of this divisional form of the variable. Okay. So the controller commands a change in the input when there is an error. So if there is no error, there will be no change in the input. And as the error gets larger and larger, the control action will also be larger and larger. So this is the idea about this, what is called the proportional control. Now, now to express in the real value of the input signal, we see that we need a, what is called this, a bias or the null value. Now what it is, if you think about your driving at 50 and your set point is 50, so the error is zero. In that case, the U prime T is zero. But definitely you need to have a fuel flow to the engine. And that's what is called this U bias, okay? So the value of the input signal at this point is called this bias of the null value. And the UT, the absolute value of UT is U bias plus this what is called this divisional form, okay? Now, <coughs> let's see what happens when you apply this proportional controller to the tank process. Now we see here that the yellow line shows the value of the set point and the white line here. So this is the set point and this is the output value. Now you see that there is a, at a steady state, there's a difference between this set point and the output value. Now why is this happening? So why is this controller, the job the controller is to take the process to the set point. However, in this case, it's away from the set point. Now, that's the problem with this proportionality control. What happens is that initially, the output on the set point changes. There is a large difference between the current value and the set point. So there is a large control action. Okay. Now, as the output changes, the error decreases. So the difference between this set point and the output becomes narrower, the control action is start to decrease. Okay. Now look at this process now. So when the level start to change, the outlet flow also start to change. So when the level is going up, the outlet flow is going up, and initially this inlet flow is was high and it start to decrease. And at some point, what will happen that the inlet flow and the outlet flow 
will become the same and in that case the level will also become steady at this value action is taken proportional to the error signal when the error signal becomes constant the controller output that is the process input also becomes constant so there will be no further change in the level so that's why there is always a difference between the set point and the value of the output at the final steady state this is what is called the offset so for proportional on the controller it will always result in an offset now if you increase the gain the offset will reduce however there will be always offset for this proportional only control so we see that the offset occurs under the proportional only control when the set point and or disturbances are at values other than that is to determine this this bias value meaning when the control output equals the bias value it's at the desired set point so for this case this this level 4 meter that was the basis for which the u bias was determined and it's there at the set point but for any set point other than this the output will not be at the desired set point rather there will be some offset now this offset can be reduced by increasing the gain however it cannot be eliminated entirely the offset results because the control action becomes constant even when there is a the error is not zero so this proportional control it's simple there is only one term this kc however we see that there is an offset that what we do not want so this gives us to the concept that okay then we need a function that will not become constant and until the error term becomes zero so what's that function we see that the integral is such a function that will not become constant until the error becomes zero and that gives rise to the concept of what is called this integral control